Yeah, hello and welcome to this Mamo World quick tip. Uh, and what I'm going to show you here is how you can use the After Effects tool Key Tweak to modify keyframes of several properties at once. And this is very useful for uh, animations, for example, animations with a puppet tool where you want to consistently move several puppet points. And the example that I want uh, to use for explaining this is the one that you've just seen. So this logo animation here where I move this uh, letter M here with the help of the puppet tool. So the entire scenario here is as follows. We have a separate layer for this uh, M letter here and on this we have the puppet effect and in case you do not know the puppet effect this effect allows to define several points on the layer and then move those points and everything distorts and moves accordingly. So basically I animate the motion of this M here by animating the positions of these six points of the M. And you can see that here uh, how, how these six uh, yellow points are moving and how the M moves accordingly. And I'm not going through the animation of this entire uh, scene here, but the only thing that I want to show you is how to animate these jumps of the M. Yeah? And you can see my puppet effect here on the layer. The puppet effect has in its uh, mesh deformation six such puppet pins. These are these six yellow points here, and they already have all a lot of keyframes. Yeah, all these keyframes here animate these different puppet points. And what I've already prepared for this jump is this first small jump. So remember, the uh, M first makes a small jump, then it makes a little bit bigger jump, and then it makes a third jump where it jumps onto the logo. And what I have here so far is three times the same jump, namely this very small jump. Yeah. So here, first jump, second jump is just a copy of the first, and third jump again a copy. And yeah, you can also see that I already prepared that when the M should land, here's the original M occurs. So this is just like the, the blending that occurs here. But anyway, so we need now to modify the animation of this M. So and for example, if we look here at the second jump, this is the second jump. Uh, there are several keyframes involved here. So for all these um, six points, we have here one or two keyframes at the highest point. Yeah. So like around here and they are not all at exactly the same uh, uh, time, but more or less. So what we would need to do is select the first one, move it a little bit up, select the second one, take care that you're here really at the keyframe, move it also a bit up and so on. And then you need to move all of them such that the M looks exactly as before, just a bit higher. But this is a bit tedious because it's really difficult to move all these keyframes consistently. Yeah, so therefore I undo this, edit undo, edit undo, and we're going to do this instead with the help of key tweak. So the, uh, the advantage of key tweak is that you can move with these wheels here, your keyframes uh, up, down, left, right, however you want, but you can do it for several properties at once. So I select here all these puppet pins, so all the six points, and now you see that all keyframes are selected, but by choosing here this work area constant option in key tweak, only all key uh, keyframes within the work area. So from until he from here until here are modified. So just this bunch of keyframes here. So therefore we can just click here and now all these keyframes move 20 pixels up. If we want something larger like 40 pixels, you can do it also like this. Yeah. And you have here two wheels such that yeah, with one you can do larger modifications, with one smaller, without needing to change the numbers all the time. Yeah, you are free to change the numbers here however you like. Okay, now you can see we have one small jump. And now here the second jump that we modified that looks basically the same, but jumps much higher. So it was really easy by just modifying the six keyframes at once. And now for the third jump, you can see that at these keyframes here, yeah, the jump starts. So they define basically the, the, the ground from which it is starting. They should ke be kept original. But after that, all keyframes should be moved. Yeah, so these are the last keyframes on the ground. They should stay like this. 
But after that, while the M is flying and when it's landing, yeah, it should land exactly on this M here. So all these keyframes with having this here still selected, all these keyframes are now moved by just clicking here, up, 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 how much we need, and then to the right. Like this, and then we can use this here for fine tuning and make it land here exactly on the M of the logo. Like this. And now you can see how the animation looks now. So uh, this here is the second large jump and now the third jump where it jumps to the right. Very nice. Yeah? And very easy because we could modify all these keyframes directly at once with the use of key tricks. The only thing that is not yet very nice is that it's jumping so much to the right here. So you can see these are the keyframes here where where it is landing and these are the keyframes where it's in the air. So during while it's in the air it should be maybe a little bit more to the left. So we shorten our work area here to just the part uh, where uh, the M is in the air and then move it a little bit to the left and then we can say okay it should maybe also jump a little bit higher than that and make it like this. Yeah. And now we have a pretty nice animation of this M jumping onto the logo. Yeah, that's already it. I hope you found this idea useful. So key tweak is not only good for properties like track points or so where you have thousands of keyframes that you want to modify at once, but also very nice if you have just several properties, no matter whether they are puppet pins or layer positions or whatever, that you want to move consistently and simultaneously. Okay, that's it. I'm Matthias for marmoworld.com. <laughs>